Shalom. I want to give all praises, all honor, and all glory unto Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Racha, Wadash. Yahweh is the true name of the Most High. All right. His name is not God, although he has many titles. God is just a title. We know he's the power of the universe, but he's rightfully known as Yahweh. He is. Okay. And Yahweh Shai, all right, which the Most High sent his son down here on the earth 2,000 years ago, all right, he is the only begotten son of Yahweh, uh, um, of Yahweh, all right, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, means he is the Savior, he is the Deliverer, okay, and, um, I want to give double honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone and Shalom to the elect. All right. Now, this lesson is going to be entitled, What is Truth? And all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai for just, hey, man, just put the spirit on me to do this lesson, man. Because, um, you know, throughout the day, you know what I'm saying, whatever you do, you know, hey, sometime, hey, you just, you know, in the flesh or whatever, you know, you get a... Uh, you get bullshit thoughts. You know, I'm going to just keep it blunt. But the thing is, you know, you got to ask yourself. And like brothers always say, you got to be real with yourself. All right. And you have to know. All right. You yourself. Let the scripture say, have thou faith, have it to thyself first. You have to know and believe this is the truth. Okay. And hey, this truth. Well, the definitions, I'm going to just read a few definitions, man. All right, so it says, the first one is obvious, says the quality or state of being true. All right, synonyms will be veracity, truthfulness, verity, sincerity, candor, honesty, genuineness. All right, which another word for veracity will be accuracy. All right, let's go down to the, def the second bullet point. That which is true or in accordance with with fact or reality okay truth is you know as a man of the lord you're gonna catch hell you know you see that in your life that's truth you know what i'm saying you know when you came into the truth you're gonna catch hell that's truth you know what i'm saying uh your family's gonna come up against you you know what i'm saying you was gonna be uh more uh you know you're gonna see when dealing with people you know people gonna act like more demons towards you that's that's of a truth all right, truth is, you know, um, truth is, you know, the so-called white man hates you. All right, whether you believe it or not, he hates you. All right, so this is truth. This is fact. This is something that you can see day in and day out. Okay. It says that which is true or in accordance with fact or reality. All right. So when... Like, when you walk in, on this earth, man, and, um, you know, that's why it's important to also study and get into these words, get into the scriptures, all right, so that you can accompany the things that you go through day to day with the scriptures, man, because the scriptures, you know, the scriptures is a, um, for lack of better terms, the scriptures is like an illustration, if you will, or a, uh, like, you know how you have certain movies or whatever, um, to where you'll have a guy, the commentator in the background speaking as the movie is going on. That's the scriptures. Okay. So, um, I get a few precepts, which I had looked up, you know, just a, a quick uh, search on this Bible app I have called Truth. Now, I'm going to just get a few precepts that stuck out to me. All right. So, this is the first one. Deuteronomy 32 and 1. Give ear, O ye heavens, and I will speak. He's talking about the, uh, the Lord speaking, okay? And I will speak and hear, O earth, the words of my mouth. My doctrine shall drop as the rain. <laughs> my speech shall distill as the dew, as the small rain upon the tender herb, and the showers upon the grass. So this basically means that... 
when the Lord speaks, you know what I'm saying? His doctrine, basically being as, like he said, my doctrine shall drop as the rain, my speech shall distill as it do. All right. Basically, when the Lord speaks, everything changes. Everything um, is affected. You know, like, for example, you watch Net Geo or whatever. All right. You know, what happens when it rains? All right. If there was a drought, you know what I'm saying? There's no longer a drought. All right. If the uh, grass was dying, now the grass is, uh, you know, begins to come back to life, man. You know, that's what uh, happens when the, when the word, when Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, when he speaks, things change. OK. And now what? Now, uh, like say, like, you know, going into the uh, analogy of the uh, Nat Geo, you know, or, or the show, you know, Nat Geo, you know, where um, there may be a drought or whatever, you know. That water, you know what, water is a, um, it's like I'm trying to get my thoughts together, forgive me, you know, but that water is a life source, you know, now all the animals from all over come to that water, they drink, you know what I'm saying, they get fed, you know, the trees get fed, the grass gets fed, and so on and so forth, it brings life to everything, you know, but just the spirit is raining right now. You know, like they even have a um a saying in the world, uh um April showers bring May flowers. Okay. So it says, My doctrine shall drop as the rain, my speech shall distill as the dew, as the small rain upon the tender herb, and as the showers upon the grass, because I will publish the name of Yahweh, ascribe be greatness, oh Salaki. So this is actually a... Uh, Moses speaking, Salaki. This is a prayer of Moses. Because I will publish the name of Yahweh, ascribe ye greatness unto our power. Okay, so this is of a truth, you know what I'm saying? That once his word came out, you know, I'm starting off with really our apostles, their elders. You know, things begin to change around the, um around the world, man. You know, things begin to change around the world to where, you know, our people begin to wake up. You know what I'm saying? Esau begin to fall, you know, slowly but surely. And we see it a lot more uh, ev ev evidently, man. You know, people are beginning to read the Bible, you know. And, um, you know, you know now people, you got more people saying that we're the actual Jews, that those those Jews and um, those Israelis in the land are imposters, you know. So things have changed, man. You know, things have evolved, if you will. All right. I even see now to where... Which I know is not a coincidence, you know, to where you see a lot more homeless Edomites, also, or homeless white people, homeless so-called white people. You know, that's not of a coincidence. That's because his truth is going out. I was just watching the Apostle Tar's video and he was saying, uh, you know, he had did a video on how Esau's the new niggas. And another one, I believe he threw up today of how Esau's going down hard, man. You know, so this word, this, this word is of a truth. All right. When his word go, goes out, things change. OK, things change. Some things get soiled. All right. And some things get, uh, you know, uh, you know, get replenished. OK. Israel's getting replenished. All right. While Esau's getting soiled, man, getting soaked. OK, because I will publish the name of Yahweh, ascribe ye greatness into our power. And uh, hey, that's a blessing to you know that Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai put the Spirit on us to preach this word, man. Because as we preach this word, things are changing. Okay, as we preach this word, things are changing. That's why we are so much of a threat. That's why Esau's, you know, you know, you know, you know, throwing th basically throwing a kitchen sink out of us, at us, man. You know, uh, devising laws like the scriptures say he uh, describe uh, describe mischief by law. Got these anti-Semitism uh, laws. You know what I'm saying? You got these uh, so-called apologetics coming out the woodworks. Defending the Bible that they will have at one point never even um really got into like that. You know? It says, he is the rock. His work is perfect. For all his ways are judgment. A God of truth and without iniquity. Just and right is he. Okay, Justin Wright is your how about Shimmy Howard Shy, man? You know, I remember the elder, uh, 
a war, he made a profound point. You know, he was saying, you know, a real man, you look at things for what they are, not for what you want them to be. You got to look at things for what they are, you know, and that's how you, uh, you know, see. And that's how you, you know, you can, act, you can really, you can literally see, you know, the profound effect this word has upon this world, man. Okay. Another precept is, uh, I think it's this one. No, it's uh, it's lucky. Psalms eighty-five and eight. I will hear what God Yahweh will speak, for He will speak peace unto His people and to His saints. And that's what the Lord is doing, man. According to um, what is it, Isaiah sixty-one? I want to say. So let's just grab that. No, it's uh, what is it, forty? Oh, okay, Isaiah forty and one. It says, "Comfort ye, comfort ye, my people," say if your power. How are we comfort comforting the people of the Lord? By giving him this word. Alright. By giving him this word man. Which his word is also known as the water. The scripture say he that believeth on me. Out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. Alright. And like if you watch like any of these post apocalyptic shows. You can go a while without food. But if you go too long without water. You can um, actually go longer without food than you can without water man. All right, so this 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 uh truth for this this word is replenishing our people, man. You know, I can attest even to myself. Like there's times where I feel down, and I'll just go on to YouTube, and the brother will be uh you know going into exactly how I've been feeling or how I've been thinking, man. Speak ye comfortably to Jerusalem and cry unto her that her warfare is accomplished, that her, that her iniquity is pardoned, for she have received of Yahweh's hand double. For all her sins, man. And this is of a truth. Alright. Our people. Alright. Have received. Of the Lord's hand double, man. We see this is of a truth, man. We see we are under the curses. How is it that. You know, Jake been living here the longest. But have the least to show for it. Because we are under the curses. This is of a truth. This is reality. This is fact. You know, whether you want to argue that Deuteronomy 28. It's talking about our people or not. All right. Hey, you're delusional. Okay. This is fact. All right. But, um, yeah, man, that's what we're supposed to be going out there and preaching, really. Because this word, no matter, no matter how harsh or how effed up you think it is, we're actually speaking good tidings unto the Lord, the Lord's people. So this, uh, oh, damn. Keep going to Psalms 25. Psalms 85, actually, I was at Psalms 85 and 8. I will hear what God the Lord will speak. How, do you, how does he speak? Amos, what's that? 3, which says that the Lord will do nothing, but he reveals his secrets to his servants, the prophets. He speaks to us through his servants. All right. <laughs> through his servants, the prophets. For he will speak peace unto his people and to his saints. But let them not turn again to folly. Surely his salvation is nigh to them that fear him. That glory may dwell in our land. So the Lord's salvation is nigh. Okay. And we are representative of that man. You know. It says. Mercy and truth are met together. You know because. Yeah, we are representative to that, man. Actually, I'm going to read it again. It says, Surely his salvation is nigh to them that fear him, that glory may dwell in our land. Okay? And this is of a truth. You know? The prophets always came to prophesy the downfall of a um, society. Okay? And as a prophet spoke, things changed, man. You know? You know? And, um... Yeah, man, apostles and their elders have been out there since, what, the 70s? 
you know. So the, hey, this 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 uh thing is about over, man. We see the prophecies popping off like popcorn, man. It says, surely his salvation is not to them that fear him. That glory made the well in our land. Okay. This is mercy and truth are met together. Righteousness and peace have kissed each other. You know, so for those going into the analogy of to how, you know, rain, it, it affects everything, of course, cer certain things that actually uh, helps, it actually helps to grow. And there's certain things, it's, uh, you know, soils, man, you know, so for those that fear the name of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, those that fear his word and, you know, rejoice, you know, in, in, in his men and that brings out his word, salvation is nigh unto them. Okay. Mercy and truth are met together. Righteousness and peace have kissed each other. Okay. Truth shall spring out of the earth. And righteousness shall look down from heaven. Okay. Yeah, Yahweh shall give that which is good. And our land shall yield her increase. Righteousness shall go before him. And shall set us in the way of his steps. So thank you. It's really a thwati Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, which means thank you, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, for sending down your truth, for sending down your word. You know? Because hey man, we need we need a change, man. Change, change must come, man. You know? And this is the only way change is gonna come. You know, you have uh, Martin Luther King, Malcolm X. Marcus Garvey, all these leaders, but things remain the same. All right, and now things are finally beginning to change, man. You know, Israel's waking up. You know what I'm saying? Esau's falling. You know, it, you got a lot of Israelites that's doing better than Esau, man. You know, that's of a truth. You know, you go into certain downtown areas, you know, Esau's, uh, you know, walking up to Jake cars asking him for money, man. You know, things change with the Lord's truth, man. When the Lord's words go out. All right. This is Psalms 25. And verse 4. And this is of a truth, man. It says, Shoot me thy ways, O Yahweh. Teach me thy paths, lead me in thy truth, and teach me. Okay, so we want the Lord to lead us in His truth, man. All right, because the Lord's word, hey man, it don't, it don't, you know, it's gonna be sent out regardless, man. If you believe or not, and it's gonna change things, man. You know, but if you don't see it, man, hey, it's, it's gonna be. If you don't see it, then you're just as good as dead. Okay. And that's, you know, the best way I could put it. If you don't see, you know, that the Lord's word is going out and things are changing, you're just as good as dead, man. Okay. So it says, lead me in thy truth and teach me. Like, for example, right, as far as prophecies, prophecies are going out, which means what? You know, Israel should get more serious knowing what time they're living in. All right. So that way, when things do happen, you're not, be, you're not caught by surprise. All right. And if you are caught by surprise... All right, that means if that means that you weren't paying attention to the signs, man. All right, you weren't paying attention to the to the words of the Lord, to the signs. All right. So it says, "Lead me in thy truth and teach me." All right, so that what we may be in the right spirit, man. All right, so that we may be ready. You know what I'm saying? So so that we may um you know be properly nourished. All right. You know, so that we may know where to go, you know what I'm saying, to receive that, that nourishment, you know. Lead me in thy truth and teach me, for thou art the God of my salvation, on thee do I wait all the day. All right, and by us, you know, waiting on the Lord, by us, you know what I'm saying, um, you know, waiting on the truth, all right, it, it's, it basically, it, it helps your faith, you know what I'm saying, it keeps your faith strong, man. You know, so that was it, man. Just knowing, knowing that 
you like I said, you got to know for yourself, you know, that, hey, the Lord is working, man. You got to know that the Lord is working. All right. And and us of the hopeful elect is for our benefit, man. All right. So with that, shalom to the elect.